Bowman here from BW1.com and I'm going to give you an unboxing and first impressions look at the Droid 3. The Droid 3 is the latest 3G handset coming from Verizon, 3G Android handset from Verizon. We just got our review unit from Verizon in the mail this morning, maybe about 10 minutes ago. And we're going to do an unboxing and we're going to do a setup and um, sort of tour around it so you just get more than just opening a box. Let's get started here. Open it up here. There we see the Droid 3. Usually just a piece of plastic here in the front, not sure why there isn't. Uh, sometimes our review units do come like that from, 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 from vendors at time to time. But we'll uh, get to the rest of the box here. You have your USB wall charger, your micro USB cable, you have manuals, guides, instructions that nobody reads. And let's see here at the box. That out there. You have your SIM card. Okay, it looks like you have your SIM card information here, but it's most likely it's already pre installed in the device. So here we go here, here is the Droid 3, a little bit thicker than I um, had expected it to be and it's got a sort of different finish on it. So I know it's supposed to have a 4 inch QHD display, you have a front facing camera here which I believe is 1.3 megapixels. You have touch sensitive buttons here for menu, home, back and search. Still have that little chin here at the bottom that the droids are known for. Look here on the side we have the micro USB port and uh, mini HDMI to plug into your TV. This is supposed to output to 1080p, but they didn't include the cable. Not surprising. Alright, don't have anything here at the bottom. Looks like we might have the mic port right there. On this side we have the volume. On the top here we have the 3.5mm headphone jack and the power and lock button right here. On the back you have your speaker right here at the bottom. You have this nice little soft finish which I actually do like. And we have a, the 8 megapixel camera with uh, 1080p video recording into LED flash. Really interesting there. I kind of like how the camera design is a little bit different from what you see on most Motorola devices. And we slide this up. Alright, so you can see the slide action here. It's a little rough. I may have to take some plastic off here. Right here on the back, see if that makes it a little bit smoother. There we go, a little bit better. Take Probably have to work it in just a little bit there. But it reveals the five row QWERTY keyboard, which is actually, looks really nice. You have some separation in keys there too. So it isn't all one uh, one, one, one thing stuck together and there. They have space right between each one of them. You have a dedicated number row there as well too. It'll be really interesting how well this keyboard works. All right, slide that back. We'll pop open the back here, see if we can get the battery up. All right, there we go here. Battery's a little bit tougher. Get a little bit tougher to get out than I thought it would be. All right, and reveal the battery back here. Pop the battery out there so we can see it. This is a see, we get the milliamp hours on this. This is a 1500 milliamp hour battery, well, 1540 milliamp hour battery. And in the back here, this is where your SIM card is located, too. And this is where you can put your SD card storage. So if you want to put more, more in here, you put your micro SD card storage right into there. I believe it's supposed to come with 16 gigabytes uh, pre-built inside already. All right, snap this back on. It's a little harder to get this battery door off without the without having nails, so you might need a, something to kind of pin it off a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and power it on here. There we go. It does have internally a uh, one gigahertz dual core processor. It's a Texas Instruments processor inside of it, and it's running Android 2.3 Gingerbread with. Uh, the Motorola experience or whatever they want to call it these days. We'll zoom in a little bit here. Take a little bit closer look at the software. That's the famous Droid Eye. All right, that's a pretty fast first boot. See here, here's the lock screen. A little different styling on the numbers and such there. Looks like you have a quick switch to turn to vibrate and turn the sound on and off. Pretty cool there. Nice little feature to have. Swipe open like that. Let's try that again. I didn't see if there was an animation or not. Let's turn it back on, see if there's an animation for Oh, okay. So you can see how the whole screen moves like that. And we're right here. Interesting look. Ooh, nice little graphics here. Seems like a kind of Roti out of rotation works there. The apps. 
Ah, nice. Very nice. A lot more graphical. Very interesting version of Moto Blur here. Can't wait to kind of dig into it a little bit more. You have Mobile Hotspot, which I accidentally hit there. Take, maybe take a quick look at the camera. Right there. Yeah, that's the camera application there. See if we. Alright, well, we can have it auto attack. Yep. Go on ahead. Alright, we'll just do that a little bit later. Try to open up the camera again here. Go back one. Alright, so that's the camera. We can switch. Let's see if we can switch to the front facing one. There we go. There's me in the front facing camera. <laughs> Alright, switch to video. And we'll switch to this side here too. Alright, this is a quick idea. A camera on it. Okay, let's take a quick look to see how the keyboard types. I'm just going to type anything here. This is the song. Alright. That. Alright, there we go. The keyboard is going to take a little bit to get used to because you do have a lot to travel with because it is a pretty wide uh, keyboard here. To, um, but it's nice and spacious and I like the click down feel of it already. So um, that's going to be interesting to definitely review. The screen's really nice with the QHD display. And that's a um, setup and first look at the Droid 3. You know, um, I've had the Droid 1 so I'm really going to be interested in comparing this between Droid 1 and Droid 3 here, see what the experience is. So far, I like it. It's a little bit thicker than I expected it to be, but it's still pretty pretty light. It isn't too heavy. I like the screen. Uh, so far, I like how the keyboard is designed and stuff as well, too. And um, Moto Blur, like sort of the graphics and everything are pretty interesting there. So it's going to be pretty cool to kind of see how this all sort of works out. And um, overall, well, I just, I'm just really interested and I'm pretty excited for it. So let's see what happens here. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you to stay tuned for our review by subscribing to our YouTube page, following us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, also check out our main site. All the links to that, to this article and our main site and all the social media are in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.